What's up guys? This week's recipe, don't judge it. Don't judge it till you try it. Raisin pie. Always have loved raisins. Ever since I was a little kid, I think it's probably genetic. My dad loved raisins too. In fact, this was his favorite dessert. If he ever wanted to make him something and you ask him, he'd say, make me a raisin pie. So that's what we're making today is raisin pie. If you've ever had mincemeat, kind of it's like mincemeat. It reminds me of the fall and the holidays um, and my dad. But Mike said it reminded him of blueberry, which I kind of get because it's kind of fruity, like a fruit pie almost. So give it a try. Tell me what you think. Put your questions and comments, concerns down below. I'd love to hear from you. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel. Um, welcome to the new guys, new uh, subscribers on board. Um, don't forgive me a thumbs up. Give this recipe a try before you judge it. Don't judge it till you try it. I'm telling you, it's good. It's worth your time. Um, anyway, here's the recipe, guys. I hope you enjoy it. All right, we're going to start by rolling out our pie dough. We have a 90-inch pie plate. Love the Pyrex ones. Easy to clean. We have our pie dough, which I've made before in a video, and I'll, I'll put a link to that. This is just basic pie crust, rolling pin, bench flour, and a scraper. So I've already made this and let this set a little bit in the fridge. Now we find the end. So we are gonna make the pie crust, we need about two thirds of it. So if you divide it into thirds, it's gonna be about like that. We're gonna use this part for the pie crust. And this is gonna be for the top and we'll go back in the refrigerator. So just rewrap it and back in your fridge. So we'll take some bench flour on our clean countertop and it's easiest to start with a ball, I'm gonna put flour on the outside. Okay. We're just gonna roll this out. And you keep turning it and flipping it, and that'll make sure it doesn't stick. You can see the chunks of butter in there. And you have to have to be respectful of a pie crust. Treat it with love. And that's a good way to put it. So if I look at my pie plate, still need a little bit more. That should be plenty. Now the way to transfer this, take my scraper, just kind of flip it onto your rolling pin. And if there's excess flour in here, dust it off at this point. Because that's going to be on the underside of the pie crust. Put your pie plate down and just unroll it. And adjust it ever so softly. And just make sure it's tucked into the corners. All right, I just use the cutter and leave a little lip hanging off. About that much. Okay, we're gonna put this to the side. These extra little goodie bits will go into our 
popping ball. For the time being, I'm gonna stick this back in the fridge. To make the five pie filling, we're gonna use two cups of raisins. Now, if you've got old raisins that are kind of dried up and harder, this is a great place to use these. Put two cups of raisins, two cups of water, put that on and let it boil for five minutes. We're gonna re-plump up the raisins. Make sure they're all in the water. And go ahead and make sure they're broke up too. If there's clumps of raisins, you wanna just break that up. All right, let that boil for five minutes. While your raisins are boiling, we want to combine together one half a cup of brown sugar. I like the dark brown sugar. We're gonna put two tablespoons of cornstarch. We're gonna put about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of cinnamon. And it's good enough. About a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Uh, we wanna mix this together. Usually when you use cornstarch, starch, you need to make a slurry. And that prevents the cornstarch from clumping, but by mixing it with the brown sugar, that's gonna separate the cornstarch and it, you don't need to do that slurry. And you'll see when we put this in the raisins, it will just thicken the raisins up. Make sure all of it's combined. All right, set that to the side. We will also need one tablespoon of white vinegar and one tablespoon of butter. The raisins have been boiling for five minutes. Reduce it to a really low. We're gonna mix in our dry mix and stir that, keep stirring because that um, cornstarch will set up and it will get thick. And it is doing just that. And you wanna just keep that heating until it is thick. Turn it off. That's pretty thick. That's just, oh, there's a stem right there. And I have found over the years, it pays to get better raisins. If you get the cheap raisins, they have stems on them. Every once in a while, one will sneak through the good stuff, but. All right, set that off the eye. Now into this, we're gonna put our one tablespoon of butter and our one tablespoon of white vinegar and stir that in. The butter gives it a nice richness and the vinegar makes it a little tart. And it really does work. I've pre preheating my oven to 425 And you just want to stir that until that butter is melted and combined. All right. And that's what she looks like. Just like that. 
that's ready to go in the pie filling. All right, we have our prepared pie crust. I'm gonna put the filling. You can cool this, but I never do. I just put it in there hot. Spread it out. Set that to the side. We're gonna roll out our top, our cover piece. So we have our dough from the refrigerator. Little bench flour, both sides. Set your pie to see if it's big enough. And it is. So we'll set that right there. Same procedure to lifting. Roll it right over the top. Now what I do is I'll kind of lift the edges up and push it. So it's sealing, it's getting dough to dough along the edge. Right. Now the way to do this is to take it and I'm gonna get a little bit thinner, cut off some of this extra stuff. You're gonna lift it off the edge and roll it under, just like that. And when there's a lot, you wanna trim it. See, that's too much. Now, I set this to the side and going to clean up my area first. With these handles, I actually just wipe off the edge because I don't like the to be burned right there. So, take your edges and I just kind of mush them together. We'll make them pretty in just a second. If there's extra, trip it off. Trip it off. off that edge. Now, two fingers, or one finger, and two fingers. Wait, they go like that. This is why I like a handmade crust. It's the imperfections. It shows you put love in it. Store-bought crust, I always think they have a weird taste to them. It's like too much lard or something. And it's not that hard to make handmade crust. And the taste is so much better.
Now this middle part is doughy already because that filling was hot, so it's really soft. And there we go. Good enough. Okay. Now, we're gonna brush that. You can either make an egg wash or cream wash. I have cream. So we're just gonna brush it everywhere. And remember, the, the middle part's kind of soft. I like these silicone brushes, but man, they're really hard on pastry. need the old-timey brushes it's gonna leave marks on top of the pastry All right, we do want to put vent holes in this. And the reason you put vent holes is there's water in that filling and it'll evaporate and cause the crust to puff. So we're gonna put four vent holes, just like broops, 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 just like that. Make sure they're clear. All right. All right, we're gonna take sugar, just white sugar and just spread it over the top of the pastry. When we were in North Carolina, we lived in North Carolina, there was a big um, Moravian community in North Carolina, in Winston-Salem. And um, they used to top these pie, their apple pies with this sugar coating, it was so good. So I just put a healthy coating of sugar over the top of it, just like that. Now this is gonna go in your 425 degree oven. Into the 425 degree oven in the middle. Set that in and it's gonna bake 30 to 35 minutes. All right guys, it has been 30 minutes. Yes, indeed. Nice and brown. Try to do this without burning myself. Oh my goodness, yeah. We're gonna set that right on top, let that cool. And then we're gonna give it a taste. Look how the sugar, I don't know if you can see, let me pull this close. The sugar and the milk have almost made a glaze on the top. It's so perfect. All right guys, the pie is completely cool. Let's cut a piece. Top is so nice with that sugar and cream on there. Let's see. See if I can do it in one swoop without breaking it. No promises. <gasps> what? That's two pies in a row. All right, let's give it a taste, guys. All right, time for a taste. So you got the hard, crunchy, almost glazed top with the sugar and the cream on the top. Really love that. The filling really reminds me of mince meat. Mm. I don't know how to describe it even. The raisins are so good and they're really soft, but that little hint of vinegar gives it a kind of a sour twang. But that crust is so good too. Guys, don't fight it till you try it. It's a really good pie. You're gonna love it. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Put your comments down below. You guys have a great week. Be safe out there.